Hi everyone. This is Janice and Sassy Angelina. She don't want to. She don't want. <laughs> she wants to play. Okay. She wants to play. <laughs> I was trying to show her to you how big she's gotten, but she's. Yeah, her and Wesley are playing now, so they're into it. So sorry about the background noise. This is my intro. I forgot to film. Oh, and I got all my animals down here now. I'm gonna do a little something different today. Wesley, shh. You wanna come say hi to people? Come here. It's my noisy, my noisy boy. <laughs> I'm gonna do something different today. I'm trying a little technique, new technique in my makeup, and I'm gonna show you a few favorite things that I found out I enjoy. And just chit chat a little bit. Just kind of go over some new things I'm trying. So if you're interested and seeing what that is, just keep watching. Say hi everyone, keep watching. Well thank you everyone for staying tuned and in watching. This is how the final looks turned out. But in a minute, you're going to see, well, in a minute, it'll be like that for you. So, here I am, bare faced. I just wanted to show you what I use. I, my routine, it varies on my mood. But today, I'm going to show you some of my favorites. I like this 1 1 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. I use this, it's like a glow. You can use it as a primer. And today I probably will, because I'm not gonna go anywhere and just show you my routine with this one. Put on makeup on at home here. I love this stuff. In fact, I got another bottle because I got some a while back and I forgot about it. So when I seen this, I said, oh, I think I have this. So I looked and said, sure enough. So I tried it and I'm, and now I'm glad I got two, so love this. I've been using Jones's Road Foundation a lot. My desk is a mess. And I hear a lot of ladies don't like it, but they're younger. So I'm thinking maybe that's why, because my skin is super, super dry and they, whoops, that's the wrong one. That's the, um, you are the ball. But I use that too. You get the foundation. It's right here in front of me. <laughs> this is the foundation. Anyway, they say it's oily. And I see it. Theirs was separated. Mine's never been separated. It just looks like this. So what I do is I just take a brush. I just dab, dab, dab in it. You don't need much. But the reason why I like this because it's a lot of moisture. And at first you put it on, it feels, it feels weird. I mean, I can't explain it. But I just dot it on. And blends right in. There's no lines or nothing. I just love this. Um, I guess it takes a mature skin maybe or dry skin. I don't know. But it works really well for me. Okay, now I just kind of blend it out here. This is a brush from um, Luxie Brush, I believe. A while back through BoxyCharm in a big kit. And I've never used it. And I got it out and then, oh, I'm gonna use this for my foundation and I love it. So I just pat it in. I get my magnifying mirror, make sure it's, I can see what I'm doing here. So hopefully I don't water frame if I do. I'm not perfect. <laughs> All right, from it. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's gonna blend some more. And you don't need to go underneath the chin with this. You can if you want. I do anyway because it's dry, but you I suggest you don't have to, but I do. And the color's quite forgiving and it blends right in. Now let me see if I got it in there really well. Nope, not yet. It's, usually when I do this, I'm looking right at the mirror and I'm trying to film, so, you know, it's hard. Okay. 
Okay. And then what I do is I take my sponge from Real Techniques. This one you don't have to wet. It's a little soft. I love this one. What I do is just press it in to make sure I got it all. This is really thick. Okay. Look at that. Really thick. And it goes on quite thick. Okay. And there's like a lot there. You know. But you keep blending and it thins right out and just melts into your skin. Now at first it feels tacky, but it does set up and goes into your skin, which is what I like foundation to do. I don't like foundation to set on my skin. So what is going in? My hand could use this. So yeah. And that's what my face is doing now. Now it is like I said it is tacky, but it'll um it'll settle in. So that's what I use a lot. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you Something else I like for them, which I have is the Jones's Road Balm. Now I bought the tiny, now I bought both of these. I went online to her website and bought them. So I seen all their um, reviews and they weren't good. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it anyway. I read about it on their website and I thought I'm gonna try it. And so what you do, you have to push in on it to get it going, okay? And the reason why I got this dark color, because I mean, I use it more like a bronzer. Got different colors. So what I do is just tap, tap, tap around here with my fingers. And it just gives me a color. Now you have to rub it quite a bit. It's really a different product. But I'm loving it. Go with my, um, brush like this. I use it for contour brush. This just gives you a color. That's all it does. Okay. And you, you can tell that it's ready. Even though it's that dark, it, it melts into any skin tone that I can tell. Well, at least mine's light. But, um, just gives me a little bit of richness. And I love this. See, the Jones's Road Balm is tawny, and the foundation, where'd you go? Oh, here you go. It's uh, um, light. It's still tacky. It just takes a while to, to you know, when the time you get done with your makeup, it's fine. I got this lip oil in one of my boxes. And I'm sorry, I can't remember which box. My memory's getting bad. But I just seen it today and I thought, I'm gonna try this. And I really like it. It's INT Lip Oil. Um, I'm gonna put it on and just let it set on my lips. I did have to really exploit my skin this morning with some Dr. Brandt and I used some Sugar scrub from ColourPop because my eye was just flaky. I've been taking care of my skin lately. I've been trying, but not like I should. Let that soak in. Really like it. My lips are so dry, they're sore, like right there. I, when I get stressed, I eat my lip. Do you ever do that? Weird things you do to yourself. I've been really stressed lately. It's been a rough few months, but uh, it's probably well, you never see me on here. But I just thought, you know, I'm going to be go up there anyway and be me, and hopefully, you still like me. And yeah, that's just me. Okay, now we want to get some blush on. I just do my favorite blush. I think I've talked about this in another video. But if not, this is the Peachy Peach from M Cosmetic. I did get this through the Boxy Charm, and I ordered another one. This one I ordered through the Boxy Pop Up. The other one is more of a pink, but that's that's upstairs in the other room. Okay, they did redesign this. I guess a lot of people didn't like the dropper, 
so they just re redesigned the dropper. Oh, I was going to show you the colors, why I did that. No. <laughs> I guess, well, let me get some in there. <laughs> it's a little cumbersome, I can see. Don't need much. And that is the color. I just love this. And it's like a serum type blush. Okay. And it does build up. I've been doing my makeup different, trying to remember to do my makeup different. Uh, well, I just some older, mature, let's say this right, I won't offend anybody. I've been watching some ladies and gentlemen more my age, and they suggest bringing your blush up to lift your face up. So I'm new at this, so we're trying it. Hopefully I don't mess up, because usually I bring it down here. So we're gonna try this today. Guys are gonna critique me and say, you know, you think it looks okay or what? Uh, all comments are welcomed. Um, <clears throat> as you're kind. <laughs> you know, I am not a makeup artist. I'm not bad at doing my makeup. I've worn makeup since I was about 14. <laughs> not a lot, just mascara and light lipstick. I like to wear makeup, you know. And then when I got older, teen, I wore a little more. I never was crazy about using a lot. Never overdid myself. I still don't, at least I try not to, unless I'm experimenting. <laughs> Alright, that's a little color. Now I'm going to add a little more powder, so I just want that. I don't want a whole lot of that, because I like to add powder over it. It kind of sets everything. I'm using this, this, you can't buy this anymore, sorry. But this is the Becca finishing powder, and it's in the pink. I ordered it through Boxy Jump and Pop up quite a while ago, and I thought I better start using this. So I'm gonna use it. And what I'm doing, just gonna set my underneath my eye. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put Oh my gosh, Janice. I forgot to put concealer on. And I like this shape tape. In fact, that's what I ordered at Tarte. Because this is I still got a lot in there, but this is oh my gosh, I've had this for years. It won't go empty. I'm just gonna dot it everywhere. And on my frown lines, a little bit on my chin, and on my nose. That's about all I do. I let it set for a few minutes. Um, it doesn't dry down real quick, which I like. But I let it set for a few minutes, and um, and then I've, you know, blend it out. Okay, I'm going to use my BK Beauty brush for my concealer um, is Angie hot and flashy a506 I really like this brush and uh, I like this to use, blend out my concealer I think I'm gonna do this first and um, I just pat this Then I take my sponge and just push it really in. Because I put a lot on, if you noticed. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Kind of lift my eye up. I've been really getting some dark circles lately. I never used to have them like this. It seems like every year I have a birthday, <laughs> I can see a major jump in my skin. So I gotta learn all over how to do it. You know, every year I do it a little different. It's keep me on my toes. Okay, and I got a little dry, but I can blend it out. <laughs> oh, it's what I'm looking for. Eyeshadow. To be alright. If not, I'll spray some setting spray, which I should probably do that anyway. I think I will. Let's see, it's blending out. So, hope that 
lifts. Let me see if I got blending good in my magnifying mirror. Mm -hmm. I did. Proud of myself. I'm gonna use this. I think I've used it a few times, so not to like it or not. It's the Skin and Co. Truffle Therapy, and it's um illuminating refreshing mist. So that'll refresh my face here. I like doing this while I put makeup on. Prime it there. <laughs> Ooh, can you tell I haven't used it? It splatters out. I didn't used to do that. <sighs> well, I gotta clean out that nozzle. That's what you get for letting things sit, yes. See, I have way too much stuff. I can't, I don't even have time to use it all. Or too much stuff. Where, oh, see, this dried out. That's the sample of Dior um, foundation. And I um, totally forgot about it. And I was going to use it today, and I was like, ugh, it's dry. It's kind of tacky. I, I think that's too old. All right. I don't know why I did the top just now. It's going to kind of push that in. Kind of splattered all over. I'm a mess. I'm a train wreck lately, I tell ya. I really am. I mean, I guess that's not a nice thing to say about anyone, but I can say about myself. I'm trying not to be. See, that helped. Yeah. Next, I was gonna do eyeshadow, and I went ahead and grabbed this. I uh, used it once. I, I liked it. I was gonna give this away, and then when I bought it, I liked it so well. I kept it. It's by Zoeva. It's the Coco Blend eyeshadow, and I did order this through the pop-up shop at Foxy Charm. And just a small palette, which I like. It's gonna be handy if I ever go on, on trips. It's got a one two three on the top three is mattes and the bottom three are shimmers so yeah those are the colors so go ahead and uh, play around with that and yeah my brushes are a mess I'm always washing them and then I get carried away and forget about them but we're just gonna use them anyway and I have more more around that are clean, but I don't feel like digging them out. Where are you? Oh, yeah, they're over there. Eh. This is good. These are my favorite brushes. Okay, this one's pretty good. Um, it's just a packing brush by LaRousse. Okay. So I am going to grab first one and I'm just gonna set my eye with it you know what I gotta get my primer on all right my favorite primer I went through it and I tried others and I just don't like them so I come back to it. this by Mac and it's painterly pot and, and painterly it's an eyeshadow pot and, and it's a um Eye base is what it is, which is technically eye primer, but it's not real thick. It goes on well, and it does get clumpy like the other ones. Don't need those. Don't like them. It doesn't make my eyes dry or nothing. It's just perfect. See, love it, love it, love it. It's worth, it's worth the money, and it does last a long time. Okay. Back to that lighter color. I'm just gonna set this as a base. And I'm gonna go with the inner corner first. This is just how I do it. Um, there's many ways to do your eyeshadow. And I did not do my eyebrows, so they're really thick, so excuse my eyebrows. <laughs> I forgot. They're not that bad. Okay, no, I just got that on. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to put on the middle color there. I don't have my gloss on, so I don't know the name of it, but it's this color here. Okay. And 
gonna just pet on my eyelid. This is really nice. I got one other Zoeva palette, and I really love this formula. It's buttery and it um, goes on really nice. You don't have to really work it too much. I'm trying to see. I only got it on one side. Maybe I should put it on two sides because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to get the magnifying glass. Glass. I'm going to get the magnifying mirror again so I can see what I'm doing. So. See, now I'm going to try the end one here. Um, I'm going to do that on my outer edge. And um, try to drag it up. <laughs> okay, like this. I'll go to in my eyebrow here and just bring it over my outer corner here. A little bit in my crease. I'm not gonna go too high in my crease because I'm gonna use a blending brush to blend this here in a minute. Right now I'm just packing it on. Boy, that's nice and pigmented. And you just blend, blend, blend. Circles, windshield wiper, all the above. And then you bring it towards your middle. Oh, I do. Anything I'm doing here is thing I do for myself. I'm not like suggesting you do. You do how it's good for you. This is just how I do my I makeup. You know, but I do watch others and try try doing what they do and try different techniques Let's see if it works for me okay now i'm going to take this blending brush and add a little more of that light color and just go in the middle then take the other side and just really blend try to get that line blended in i'm going to do a little darker there i'm not liking it right here I'm just coming in a little more in my corner. There, that's better. I have big eyes, and um, so I gotta watch it all. <laughs> you know, that is making them look too far set. There, I think that looks pretty good. This is just casual. Now I'm going to take a little tiny brush to go underneath and smoke it out a little bit. I don't do that a lot anymore. I used to. Trying something new. Uh, see if this helps lift my eyes more by just doing very little on the bottom. But usually I do more. And, oh, I'm using this shimmer, which I always use a shimmer on the bottom. Don't know why, I just do. <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of bring that to here and just go right underneath the lashes. Just a little bit of depth there. No shadow. Okay. Now on the bottom corner there, I take the lightest shimmer using almost in every palette I use, which is this one right here, and I do the corner bottom 
to the middle. The color in here is really pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and use it as a shimmer on my top lid. We'll be use all six colors. Why not? I'm going to do there. I just bring it down here and shimmer it out. This is just a um, I don't know if it's a foil or what it is, but I can, I never know the difference. It's a nice shimmer. Very nice. I do like it. And I need to blend sour here more. <laughs> it's just too harsh. Yeah. Here we go. I think I want a little shimmer in that corner. And this one here, I don't have a real light, light shimmer. It has that darker one. So let's see if I got something handy here. I'll grab my Too Faced Peach palette. I've been playing with this. I ordered it for myself on Christmas. It was on their website on sale. I never did buy it. I always wanted it, and I do love it. I thought to be totally different colors in it. But it's, I, don't know, I, I know this old news. <laughs> But it's new for me. Man, this is really like this luscious and nice and light. And this is really nice, this Too Faced um, Peach Palette. Oldie but goodie, you know? Yep, nice, 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 nice. Yep, tickle the top. Oldie but goodie. It's new because I ordered it on the website, so I guess they still have it, which is nice. I never, I don't pay attention. I don't pay attention to Too Faced that much. I get it in my boxes and see it at the store, but I don't want maybe get this. I don't know. I was shopping online and went to a different site. Oh, I think I got an email from them. That's what it was. All right, I have my liners. Now, all these eyelines only have a couple that I use that I even like. And I really like Mally. I like it. That's my favorite. Or maybe I do a, a color. This is Valley Breeze. I think I'll use this. It's kind of like a gold. dark color for my upper tight line. Use the tart. Yeah, why not? Okay. It took me the longest time to do this. Oh, it scared me. And now I, it doesn't. I still blink. <laughs> See? I still blink. I find if I don't look at it, I can do it easier. So I'm looking away. I can do it better. <laughs> Got tricked the brain. Okay, sometimes I use eyeliner, sometimes I don't. I think I will since I got the it out. This is the double ended. This is the um, liquid side. And I'm just gonna go tightly around my lash line. For some reason, I'm a little shaky today. I don't know why. <laughs> they're not twins. They're sisters. And maybe they're half-sisters. because They're not even alike. 
I like this side better. Wait, it looks better than this side. I messed it up. I've <clears throat> been having a lot of anxiety lately, so I'm a little shaky. I'm going to leave it alone because I'm just going to mess it up. It'll be okay. <laughs> just use your air, okay? It is a good product. That um, two-sided chart. I there. Okay, I'm going to use my favorite mascara. And that is, of course, Maybelline Sky High. Love this stuff. Love, love it. I like others too, but I really love this one. I like the brush, nice and narrow. And it does separate my eyes. This is like the third tube I've went through, which is good for me because I use a lot of other mascaras. Yep. I like this for like everyday use. Um, it doesn't make them real, real thick. I can if I keep using it, but that's not my goal today. I just want them nice and long and pretty. And being I didn't use an eyelash curler, I just push in on my lashes and just kind of wiggle them up. And turn the brush a little bit. You know, I try to get to the base of my eyelashes quickly, so quickly, closely as I can. Sometimes you end up stabbing my eyeball. <laughs> then that's a mess. And I like a little bit on my bottoms. And I just take the end of my mascaras. I don't go like this. Always been taught to use the very end. And just kind of scoot along them, you know. Um, just trying to give them color. When I was younger, like 14 or something like that, 15, 16, no, I was, no, I was older than that. I was like 16, 17, okay. Um, for those who are my age, you probably remember the model Twiggy. I had her hair cut and I did her, her lashes. Remember how she would draw them on? And that's what I did. I really got into doing my bottom lashes and I was tiny, tiny like her. I wore like a size one, and I probably weighed like 95 pounds back then. And I had that cute little haircut. My point being is, it looked cute on me, okay? And I think that fad only lasted about six months or so. I remember wearing it summertime a lot. Um, at the beach, yeah, at the beach I had makeup on. <laughs> got to but yeah I see I like it see I'm building it up now see uh, I just love this stuff this eye here my lashes are much thinner so it never looks as good as this one it's a everyone in our family has that same problem so I try to concentrate on this one a little more but it is what it is. Um, I'll show you something that I like also to use with this if I want nice and thick. And it is the by Revlon. I love it. I can't find it. Here. Got a whole drawer for mascaras. Yeah. Let's put my glasses on. I can see better. Here it is. See, I saw it right away. And it's, um, Revlon, so fierce, eyes wide open. I love this stuff. And this is still out there, I'm still by it. I love the brush. This makes my eyelashes thicker, more prominent. Yeah. But if I'm gonna use another eye, our mascara, I usually grab this one. I also have the MAC and the new MAC one, the Stack MAC. Sometimes I use that. But you know, look at that. I gave it volume. 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 There. I think that's good for every day. So those are a couple of my favorite mascaras that I use on a daily basis, or almost daily basis. So my eyes are done, yeah. 
I don't usually put anything up here. If I do, I'm getting dressed up more. Now, being, I'm gonna leave my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do them because they're so thick anyway. So most of them I don't touch them. I just pluck them a little bit. So I'm not touching my eyebrows. I've always I'm blessed with very thick eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to do my lips and the rest of my face with the powder. This way. All right, I'm going to grab, here it is. I bought the, um, What a, okay, where's the brand name? My brain just went out to lunch. I don't remember. Okay, well, I bought this during Christmas time. I got the other one, the butterfly palette, and the I got it. And it didn't have bronzer. I was disappointed, so then I ordered the elephant. Now it has the elephant. Um. Outer edge, and then there's the bronzer. So that's why I bought that just for the bronzer. Silly me, I really didn't need it, but uh, I wanted it. I'm gonna use a nice bronzing brush. This is from Real Techniques, like that. I love this brush. I don't know if for sale or not. I but still for sure or not, I don't know, I got it a few years ago. So they're always changing their brushes. You know, I don't need to buy no more brushes, so I don't even look at them anymore, so I don't even know what's out there. But, you know, um, I'm just doing a little bit of color. And then for my nose, where are you? Um, here it is. I use this brush. And I just take the bronzer. Just get a little shadow there. I have a nice wide nose. <laughs> and my blush, and my Morphe brush. I like this brush for my blush. And Probably go ahead and use this one here. Being I put a coral on, kind of matches it better. And just blend her up. Now, usually I always do this, so I'm going to keep doing it. Just gives me more color. And I just kind of just blend, blend, blend. I don't go, I don't use tons of blush. I'm always afraid to. Um, I just want a little color. And then I don't use a whole lot of highlighter, obviously. I'm older. But I'm going to use a little bit. Um, they have highlighter in here. This one here. Um, where'd you go? Right here. <laughs> and I'm going to just use that because it's handy. I have a lot of highlighter. And I usually just put it right here. I don't have many lines on this side of my face, but I sure do on this side. This is my driving side. So when I, back in the day when we didn't have air conditioning in our cars, we had our road down our window. So I got sun, sun, sun. So that is sun damage. But, okay. Well, I don't get any cancer from it. I never liked the sun, never went out much. So like I would, I'll be fine. My husband keeps getting skin cancer. It's the basal cell usually. So I've always cutting things out of his face and head. He used to live in Australia, so <clears throat> their son's pretty wicked. And I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. And something I got through BoxyCharm, Ace Beauty, and it's uh, Be Peachy. And 
with that highlighter is a little dark. That's okay. Yeah, that that particular palette is for medium to tan skin, but I like it anyway. I'm gonna. I've been trying to overline just a little bit. I like this color because it's more of a shadow. And it blends in my lip color, natural lip color. I feel in my lips with this because I, I never use this up if I don't. Besides, it, I think it makes it last longer. Oh, <laughs> I drew on my cheek. Well, this is getting dried out. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. My lead fell out. It's, I hate that. Really like something and it's, I mean, the lip liner is fine, but it's like the wood starts shriveling up, probably because of the dry heat. You know, it goes shh. <sighs> I'll still use it. Okay, I got this the other day. Forgot all about it, and I discovered it yesterday. And I thought, oh yeah, I haven't used it yet. I haven't opened it. It is Make Serum Balm. I got it in one of my boxes. I pretty sure I got. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I. Yeah, I got it. Box of charm. I hope I did. But anyway, it's in um, Nude Nova. And what it is, is a serum balm. Okay. Be my lips are so dry and cracking right now and sore. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put lipstick on, I'm just gonna use this balm. It's another reason why I went ahead and filled in my lips with the liner. And this feels so nice. I love it. I've used it a few times already. So, I think that is my makeup look today. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing me do my makeup. Well, let's get my hair done here. It's <laughs> wild child hair. Okay, let's have the glasses off. You see? Wow, you know, I only had those curlies in here for a few few minutes because they kept falling. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's first day of washing, so it's pretty wild. Don't want to go down. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> what do we call you? Miss Curl? You know this... I look it's really good with my hair color, doesn't it? Wow. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like this little technique I learned? Well, all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off. Oh, before I do, well, let me do my what I should have did earlier. If you like this video and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Also, like this video that shows the algorithm that you're enjoying it. Also comment. I really enjoy some comments because this is, you know, I'm just doing it here in the raw and I kind of like to see if you can critique me a little bit. Uh, also share this video and you are so wonderful and sweet. The ones who watch me and hopefully new ones that watch me and I really appreciate it. I appreciate you hanging in there with me with all my ups and downs of uh, not posting. Um, if you look through my history, you know, I do kind of vacate a couple of months at a time. It's not because of you guys. It's just things in my life. All right. Uh, if you want to sign off now, I, I understand it's a long video. But if you want to hang in there, I'm going to share with you a few things I'm... I'm venturing into briefly. I try to make a brief. So for those who want to sign off, bye. I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Okay.
thank you for hanging in there if you're still here at the end. I have decided to, I think I've said this before, but I really mean it this time, at least for a while. I'm not going to be an unboxing channel anymore, okay? I have some I, more, I, hmm, I can't talk. I have some boxes I need to unbox anyway. So if you want to see those, I'll go ahead and show those. Uh, only I'm getting a couple and that's it. It's mainly because of the budget and also my budget. I have way too much product as you've seen. I mean, things are drying out on me. Things are splashing at me. <laughs> so I don't need any more. And I gave a lot away for Christmas and birthdays. And, you know, I try to utilize them for my family so that I don't go to waste. So I don't want any more to go to waste. You know, waste not one nine okay all right i have decided to get into a little different thing on here i'm going to do some my eye keeps watering i'm going to do some thrifting i've been thrifting a lot and i tried to film it but i'm still kind of shy about it in public i'm going to try to do that better but i'm going to be selling on ebay and eventually, if I build up my channel, I'll do some maybe some live sales. Um, hopefully, you start whatnot. And um, uh, Poshmark, I'm going to be selling probably on Poshmark. If I do Poshmark, I think I'm going to like clothes and makeup. I'm not going to do a whole lot there. Mainly, it's going to be eBay. And. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to make some money because I obviously do not make money on this channel. You have to have a thousand subscribers, so many hour, hours watch, and I'm not consistent on uploading, so it's only my own fault. So if I get something I really love that it's not going to cost me so much money that maybe I can make some money off of, I can go ahead and upload more because this is very discouraging. I pay for everything, and uh, but still, it's my fault because I don't upload. I still can't afford to do this anymore. So you're going to see me still do makeup and looks. I'm not going to quit that. And anyway, what do you think? I mean, we, the ones who watch me, I hopefully you still hang in there and watch me a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> all right. I mean, I kind of rattled on. I'm kind of all over the place today. But um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. I'm surely taking enough of your time. I appreciate it a lot. I love you guys, and I hope you're feeling, staying well and happy in your life. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.